What's up, waivers? Welcome to PhD and Waves. Welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going over the benefits of combing and wolfing. These are two very important things that you should be doing for your 360 waves to improve your connections, your depth, and just to improve your overall wave pattern. In today's video, I'm going to break down the benefits and why you should be wolfing and combing out your 360 waves. So once you have a better understanding, you could actually implement these things better into your 360 wave routines. All right, so let's start Start with combing out your 360 waves. Combing is extremely important for your 360 wave pattern because it allows you to detangle your pattern, penetrate all layers of your pattern, and it also gives you better pull for your 360 waves. So let me give you guys some demonstrations of what a comb actually does. As you can see on my waves, when you comb, it goes in between your curls. And that's very important because it allows your curls to be detangled. So it will help you prevent over curling. Over curling is when your hair, you know, sticks up and it tries to go back into its natural state. But when you comb, you're actually pulling your curls and notice how it's going in between each hair strand. And a brush doesn't really do that. A brush kind of just glides over the first layer of your of your waves, but a comb actually goes in between your curls also pulls your curls a lot better than what a brush can do and this is so. going to allow for better pull for your 360 waves when you have a brush like i said it kind of goes over the top it glides it just glides over the first couple layers of your pattern comb is going to dig into your waves and it's going to penetrate all layers of your pattern and it's gonna train all layers of your pattern. They're both important, but a comb does a better job at detangling, penetrating all layers, and pulling your curls, but a brush does a better job at laying your pattern. So when you're trying to lay your pattern, you definitely wanna use a brush, but you absolutely wanna use both of these things uh, if you wanna perfect your 360 waves because you wanna get the pull from a comb and you also wanna detangle your pattern and you also wanna lay down your pattern with a brush. Another thing I like about a comb is it's very precise. So whenever my crown is out of place, I like to comb my pattern into place because it just separates the hair. Like I said, it goes in between each hair strand to really direct your curls. So whenever I'm having trouble with my crown, I always like to use a comb to part out my crown to make sure everything is in place. Yes. After I comb, I like to go in with a brush just to lay everything down, but you need both of them. You need the comb to part out your hair and then you need a brush to lay down your pattern. All right, so now let's go over wolfing out your pattern. Why do so many waivers tell you to wolf out your pattern and what is wolfing? Wolfing essentially is growing out your hair to longer, thicker lengths. So basically, if you get a haircut, let's say you get a haircut, let's say you get a 1.5 guard, that's when your hair is super short. If you want a wolf, you actually want to not cut your hair for around four weeks so your hair could get thicker and you're essentially just growing out your pattern. This is like a very short wolf. This is not really anything crazy, but I am technically wolfing. My hair is pretty long. It's probably at like a 2.5 right now. I am technically wolfing. It's just the process of making your hair thicker and fuller. All right, so the first benefit of wolfing out your waves is better depth. The thicker and fuller your hair is, the more depth you are gonna get because you're actually stacking your curls on top of each other and this is making your curls more defined. So like I just showed you, I just combed up my pattern. All these curls are basically stacked up on top of each other and what that's gonna do is it's gonna make my pattern a lot more defined. If you want your waves to be super defined, I recommend wolfing out your pattern, growing your pattern to longer lengths because you're just gonna have more curls to work with. If you have like a 1.5 guard and you your hair is super short, you will have some good definition, but if you wanna increase your definition, I recommend wolfing out your pattern and then your curls are gonna stack up on top of each other. They're basically gonna leave an imprint on each other and then the next time you get a haircut, your hair is gonna be super defined and you're gonna have a lot of depth and definition. Another benefit to wolfing out your pattern is better pull. Like I said with the comb, when your hair is longer, you actually have a lot more pull and you could actually get a better stretch of your curls when you're wolfing compared to if your hair was shorter. So when you're wolfing, you basically just have longer hair. You have more hair for the comb or the brush to grab onto and this is gonna give you a way better stretch. Let's say your hair was super short. You wouldn't really have that much control of your curl, right? But let's say your hair was longer. 
now you have more control of your curl and you could direct it in any direction that you want and it's a lot easier. Um, it's similar to tug of war. If you're playing tug of war, if you have this little string, you can't really pull it. You can't really do anything with it. If you have more hair to work with, now you could direct it. You could move it in multiple directions and it's just easier to control, especially during the wash and style. I love doing the wash and style when I'm wolfing because I have so much hair to work with. I could direct it. I can move it into the specific direction that I want it. So that's why I like wolfing because you just have way more control of your curls. So it's easier to break forks and just to fix my pattern overall. Another benefit to wolfing is it fills in light areas. I always get a lot of questions of people saying, I can't get waves on my side. The thing about the sides of your head is, especially around your temple area, your hair just grows, uh, it, it just grows in lighter and less dense compared to the top of your head. So a lot of wavers, they get waves on the top of their head a lot faster. Um, and that's because the sides of our head, they just grow in a lot slower and a lot thinner. So if you actually grow out your hair, you are going to fill in these thinning areas of your, of your hair. So once you wolf, you're just going to have more curls to work with on the sides of your head and you could uh, better develop your 360 waves. Another benefit to wolfing out your pattern is you're actually protecting your waves the thicker your hair is. So for example, if your hair is super short, your hair is very vulnerable because you might only have one or two layers of curls and you could easily ruin your pattern. But if your hair is super long, if you're wolfing, you have a lot of layers of curls that are trained and it's harder to mess up all those layers of curls. Like I just showed you, I just combed up my pattern, right? Since I'm wolfing, all my layers have been trained, so it's very easy for me to get back my waves simply by combing it back down. Essentially, you just have better uh, protection over your 360 waves compared to if your hair was shorter. If your hair was shorter, it will be very easy to lose progress and you know, lose your 360 wave pattern. Since you're wolfing for so long, you're actually protecting the lower layers of your pattern. So if you've been wolfing and your hair is super long and you notice that your hair is very frizzy and you're starting to over curl, once you cut off all those layers of curls, you're gonna reveal a nice healthy layer of defined waves because all those curls have been stacked on those lower layers and it's also protecting those lower layers so they're not gonna be super frizzy, they're gonna be super healthy, and they've been protected by all the wolfing hair. That but you yeah, wear. those are the benefits of combing and wolfing. Hopefully you guys learned something new. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button, make sure to subscribe, make sure to visit phdandwaves.com. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.